I am a huge fan of Karen Berniston's interactive and pop-up dies, and no matter what time of year it is, they can be used to make fun cards for any reason or any season. Right now is a good time to get our graduation and Father's Day cards done, so I'm sharing some cards for grads and dads in this video. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and I had so much fun designing with the new Rockin' Rectangle and Woven Basket dies in the new release from Karen Berniston. I used the Rockin' Rectangle pop-up die set to make these two graduation cards. So this is the Rockin' Rectangle pop-up die set and I'm going to show you how um, to make a card with that. Um, the first graduation card I did was this one and um, I did I used an old uh, embossing folder um, on the front it's from Cuddlebug and I uh, when you open it up the rectangle pops up and it's a very cool interactive motion um, I'll show you what die sets I use. This is a, a new word die set from Karen Berniston and that is um, some cute animals. And then on the back I um, put congrats and the wonky rectangle die set there is from Gina Marie Designs. So um, on those cards, in addition to the rocking rectangle pop-up, I use the tiny accessories uh, need this. The tiny accessories number two for the um, graduation hat and glasses um, I think are from the other set. Um, this is the new word set eight congrats so you did it congrats and then this is the cute feathered animals um, die set where I did the owl. Um, I'll admit I was inspired by a card that Karen did um, to create this card um, and that's the Gina Marie Designs um, wonky rectangles. So um, again I'm going to show you how this is made but um, I chose to emboss to give it a little more texture and then when it opens up uh, the cute owl, graduate owl pops up. You did it! You can also turn the card so it pops out a different way. So in this case I needed a masculine card for my nephew's graduation as a pilot. Um, this congratulations that I layered is um, a Tonic Studios die and that graduate, graduate hat is the same as it's on the owl there and that's that Gina Marie wonky um, rectangle, stitched rectangles. And then when you open it it opens like this. Isn't that cool? So that's his school um, emblem and that pops out and there's a plane um, for his uh, signifying his pilot's license and then when on the back I have uh, type uh, on the computer so proud of you um, and will write my special message there. So the card can open either this way or this way uh, depending on which um, way you would like it to be done. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a rocking rectangle pop-up card. Um, I'm not going to do the whole card, I'm just going to show the apparatus and then um, uh, I will be completing this into another Father's Day card and I will share it on my blog. So um, on, I can get that die out again, in the die set um, here are the pieces. Um, you're going to cut one of this uh, apparatus and one of this piece and those are those two pieces and that's going to combine to make that pop-up motion. Um, you get uh, several rectangle shapes um, and you take the smallest one um, here and you die cut um, the window out of the front. Um, I I um, will put a frame around that so I put the frame down first before I cut out the rectangle so I knew there was room for that frame. Um, I'm also going to put a piece of acetate on that before I put uh, the frame on but again all that decorating I'll be doing later mostly I'm just showing you the apparatus now. So um, you have this piece um, which is the longer piece and um, you're going to fold it in a mountain valley mountain. So it's kind of like a, 
Well, it looks like that when it's done, okay? Mountain Valley Mountain. And then this is the um, little piece that is going to be used for the apparatus. And um, you fold on all of those scored lines. And then these pieces um, get um, glued or taped um, down um, to uh, make it a little stronger. So then it looks like that. Um, this gets folded up, these get folded up, and then um, as Karen explains, um, and watch her videos because she obviously does a really good job in explaining all this, we're going to fold down on one of um, the sides of these tabs, and then you're going to hold this piece like this with these two um, rectangles with those slots um, and then you're going to work from the back and then you're going to take the um, these little slot pieces and you're going to slide it through and then open up the tab so that it stays in place and you're going to do the same with this one so you have um, it looking like that now and then um, you're going to um, glue these little tab pieces down and I'm using my favorite fine tip bottle and um, glue from Karen Berniston's website that she recommends And of course, all the links to all these products will be in my description box. So you have something that looks like that. And then you're going to take, um, I have an A2 card base here, and um, we're going to attach this piece in the center just to the left of the fold and in this case we want what is attached here to show through this window so you're going to center it um, there um, I think I'll use some strong two-sided tape for that Although, of course, you can use the glue, too. So, again, centering it. Um, so that the uh, what you attach will show through the window just to the left side of the um, fold and then what Karen tells you to do in her video which is very very helpful is to um, fold it down like that and apply some type of adhesive to this piece Close this side on top of that. So your apparatus is complete. Now there are rectangle dies in the um, in the die set, and that you're going to put one here and one here and that will cover up that um, little tab thing and then whatever you're going to have show through your window here is going to be attached here so um, there will be um, acetate and a frame on here and uh, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to work that apparatus and then whatever you decide to decorate with or, or to have your focal point will go on here
So once again, this is the end result. Um, I've put acetate on here. I've put a, a frame around there. Um, the owl is what we wanted to show through that front. Um, I'm going to make a Father's Day card, so I might put DAD there. I'm not sure, but again, I will share that um, on my blog when I finish that card. Um, I will admit that my favorite of the new dies from Karen Berniston from this release is the woven basket box card die. And I've already shared several spring and Easter basket box cards here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. Karen filmed a live video where she showed how to extend the basket to make a double wide basket. And I decided to do this for this Father's Day card for an ice cream club lover I know. So I created a vellum um, envelope um, using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and there is a Culver's um, gift card in there for this um, dad who loves ice cream. Okay, And um, I'll, I have, uh, this is a Tonic Studios On Your Day um, die that um, I have used and then I have a bunch of ice cream cones in both the soft serve and the hard um, ice cream varieties and different uh, flavors. And then I made an ice cream sundae and I used Tonic Studios mirror card for the um, bowl and the spoon. And then um, this DAD, um, I was really proud because I just came up with this idea. The A is an upside down ice cream cone. Um, so um, DAD um, and all the most of these dies are from Karen Berniston as I will show you. The uh, woven box card um, die is the primary one that I've used here and again I'm going to show you how to make a double one um, for for like for this card and then I use the ice cream sundae pop-up uh, die and that has um, ice cream cones, a spoon, sundaes um, and ways to make all different kinds of ice cream. Um, I haven't tried the pop-up part of it yet but I will be I'm and, and I'll share that as well. Um, I use the um, We Are Memory Keepers um, punch envelope punch board to make the um, gift card holder um, as you can see here and I decided to make it out of vellum so that um, you could see right through it and tell that it was a Culver's gift card in there. Um, and this Enjoy is also a die um, from Karen Berniston and the alphabet is as well. And again all the links to all these dies used will be in the description um, box for you. So um, just a quick quick reminder on how to use the um, envelope punch board. Um, they've been around for a while and um, can be used um, for many things. Um, but the uh, two by three and a half gift card size, they say cut a paper size to five by five and then score on the two inch line. So you go down to two, you punch, and you score and then you repeat down to two, punch, score and punch and then um, you can also use this rounding feature in here to round all your corners I hadn't pulled that out in a while. I think I'm going to have to play with it again. Because um, <clears throat> you can make uh, cool boxes and, and envelopes and everything. So if you just fold the um, on the on the score lines, you have a neat little envelope. I did that fast, so it's not straight. But um, And then I just slipped the gift card in there. And, of course, you can see that um, at, because I made it out of vellum. So, to make the double wide, you cut three of the main piece, and then you cut six 
of the weaving pieces when you're doing the double wide. Um, we need two of the uh, side um, handle pieces and then you need um, four of the pieces that go across the inside. Um, if you were doing an Easter basket or flowers, um, this, this is uh, created to be like grass. But in this case, I'm going to make a um, masculine um, Father's Day card with it. Or maybe graduation. I haven't quite decided yet. But I'm going to definitely do another double wide um, basket um, from what I share with you today. So um, you cut um, four of these pieces and then you cut off the grass if you don't want that. And in this case I don't. So it's designed very cleverly that you can use it for grass but you can choose not to. Um, so uh, we cut out three of the main pieces and I've put strong two-sided tape on there and normally if you were going to make a four-sided square basket you would just put these together but um, as Karen explained you can um, make it um, a double wide um, so that you have more room for decorating um, and what she suggested doing was putting a uh, well first of all you cut um, one of these pieces in half and you cut off the tab okay and then um, you're going to put a little line of glue here And then you're going to line your slots up, uh, you know, the, 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 that's not the right word, but these, these lines that are, are slit. And you put them together, and then you repeat. And then you're going to take the uh, strong, the top of the strong tape off. And put these together so that they line up. And you have the start of a double wide basket there. Um, we're going to weave as we normally do. There are pieces that have two um, legs on them and then the one that comes from the top it has one. So um, on each uh, side. Uh, now I decided to use a slightly patterned um, paper that looks like kind of like kind of like wood a little bit um, to make this more masculine um, card um, and um, sometimes you use contrasting colors as I did on this one um, but in this case I decided not to and then um, once you have that woven in and out um, you're going to um, put a little glue here And then you want to make sure that this is uh, this piece is um, straight on the bottom and even on the sides before you press it down. And then um, you're going to take one of these pieces and um, you're going to weave it in the opposite. So this starts under, over, under, over. Is that right? Yeah, okay. And
and then um, the top piece you want to make sure that that's lined up um, with the bottom of that first uh, row and then fold it. That didn't straight. Okay. And then you're going to um, glue that down as well. So um, I'm going to do the rest of the weaving and the gluing and then come right back and we'll finish this up. So it doesn't take too long. Um, we do do all the weaving on, on all um, six pieces and I've done that um, up and down. Um, because it is matching it's not quite as, as obvious but I kind of wanted a masculine wooden type basket for this. Um, uh, as uh, Karen explains in her um, video, um, you can cut the handles out um, and simply slide them in some of those, um, a couple of those slots there, and then glue them down. I did um, one of them, and I can show you um, how to do uh, the other one here. Just put a little bit of glue on the handle piece and attach that. So, so far we have the handles and I put in one of these um, pieces here. Um, what I've discovered is that this quarter inch uh, strong tape is just the exact um, length to put these together to um, fit in the inside of the um, double wide um, basket. So um, that's what I've done. Um, and you cut two of them and you put them together and the overlap is about a quarter of an inch. So you put those together and then um, one of them gets attached um, behind the third one down um, in there um, and the other one and so that the, the tabs are going back that way and then you attach this one um, in here um, and you just slide it behind this um, piece here. Um, so it's one, two, three down, and one is facing this way and one's facing that way. But you know what I just noticed? Because this is um, one-sided paper, when I do that, we're going to have some wooden and some... Um, white. So I think I will hold off on doing that and um, see if I can uh, make maybe make those double sided. I haven't quite decided yet. But um, that's in essence how you um, put together a um, double width um, basket um, as I did on this one. Um, and in this case of course I decorated it for an ice cream lover. Um, um, but that one's going to be for another father, so I'll decide on a different theme and then um, share it with you on my blog. I hope these fun interactive graduation and Father's Day cards inspire you to try some rocking rectangle and woven basket cards so you can see how fun and easy they are to make. Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.